wants a snake. I'm gonna try. It's all the way in the North Pole. It's cold. It's kind of neat to know that these animals are making an impact. Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I am so happy to be back and I am so full of energy after that amazing trip. Oh my gosh. And I am so, so excited to just spend some time with my animals again. Look at Nova. He is looking so crazy cool. Let's just go ahead and run around and say hi to all the animals that I missed for this last week. Bye bye Nova. Bye. Guys, take a look at this. This is so exciting. While I was gone, my scorpion actually had a baby. Take a look at the little baby right there. Now, what the deal is, is that this is an emperor scorpion. They typically have anywhere from eight to 20 babies right in that range. And the crew actually had told me that she started to have babies when I was in Florida. But unfortunately, she had about seven or eight of them and she ate all of them except for this one little one right here. And they said that oftentimes they'll eat them when there's actually deformities. So well, unfortunately only one lip but I'm still super excited that we have a little baby scorpion and of course they're little white babies that climb to the top and live on the back of the mom how freaking epic is that oh my gosh we have a little baby scorpion people sure I would have loved to have more but I'm gonna raise this one up because it is so awesome I'm so excited about it my girl sunrise here is looking absolutely incredible you know again after running around just seeing everyone else's animals it is so nice to be back with my own Animals. You know, it's kind of like when you go on vacation, you get back home and you miss your family or whatever. This is kind of how I feel. I am so energized right now and so excited to be back here and implement a lot of the things that I kind of saw down in Florida. The ideas, the way people keep animals, the different animal scene. Oh my God, I am so, so full of energy and excitement right now. And speaking about excitement, I realize this vlog is after Christmas, but tonight at the Reptarium, we're actually going to have Eric dress up as Santa Claus. So it's going to be absolutely incredible. Actually, Lori, Noah, and myself actually are heading up to Canada for a family Christmas party. So I'm going to miss all the fun and antics here at the Reptarium. But I'll make sure to leave a camera back so that those guys can kind of highlight the insanity with Eric Santa Claus. You know what was kind of amazing on this trip is that as we were traveling around meeting up with people, everyone seemed to know my ambassador animals. A lot of people asked about Ben and Jerry. They're like, oh my God, I saw that you have that two-headed cow. King, Ben and Jerry, and they're like, how is it doing? It's so incredible. It's kind of neat to know that these animals are making an impact, not just with people that come here to the Reptarium, but so many people like you guys that watch and support, as well as a lot of other animal people. It was shocking to hear how many people knew about them, and truthfully, it is beyond humbling. By the way, Ben and Jerry ate for Andrea this week. It's the first person other than me that has fed Ben and Jerry since they've been at the Reptarium. Look at my boy Taz. He just up on his heat spot, getting a little basking this morning. How are you doing, Tazard? Oh my god, I missed you so, so much. Remember we saw the albino tegus down at Ty's place? I just thought, oh, I can't wait to get back and see my Tazzy. Look at how awesome Jade is looking. Hi, you sweetheart. What are you doing? Oh my god. And she is definitely in a kind of hunting position, looking straight down at this cup of roaches and some super worms. So hopefully she'll get a good meal today. I saw a lot of really gorgeous reticulated pythons on this past trip, but I'm sorry you guys. Nothing compares to my beautiful girl, Perdita. Last night at the Reptarium, she was out as always, just changing people's minds. It was so cool to be back and see people's smiles again. And that's one of the things I certainly miss more than anything when I was gone is being able to interact with people with these animals that I love so much and just seeing the joy that it brings them when they come here, including the people that come in that are like, I've never held a snake before. And then they hold all kinds of stuff. Perdita is always a crowd pleaser and I missed her so much. I wanted to show you guys our newest display here. Take a look at this Asian vine snake right here. Oh, doggy, that display is amazing. And it's just chilling out. Look at how it just got its tongue sticking out is tasting the air. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to have one of these. I've always wanted an Asian vine snake and finally we have one. This thing is so incredible and you could see if you were in the wild how it would just blend right in. I mean you could barely see it coming through here. Oh my gosh you are so crazy cool buddy. Beardy is definitely getting big. She 
she ate when I was gone, and every time she eats, she seems to add girth to her. It's crazy how they are so slow growers, and then they finally hit a point where they just start to explode. I think Verde will be a good six or seven foot within no time, but I'll be honest with you, I'm looking at getting possibly another big pair of anacondas, because I tell you what, I just think they're some of the most amazing snakes. So if I can get some big anacondas that are tame, I think I'm gonna jump on it. I'm so happy when I built this alligator enclosure, I envisioned them coming up and basking right like they are right now. It's so cool that they're finally feeling comfortable and they're actually coming up and using that basking spot. Oh my gosh, they look so amazing in there. I can't wait to get the other eight that we're gonna put in there. It's gonna be so awesome. <laughs> Toothless is getting so big too. He is eating like a champion and he's just so incredible. Remember Francis over at Ty's place, that huge water monitor. I don't know that Toothless is ever gonna get that big, but he is definitely gonna be a nice big male one day and he is just getting so big. I am so grateful that this thing took off because I was so worried about him early on. Oh, Toothless, you are incredible little monkey. Hi, Bella. Hi, sweetheart. How are you today? Oh yeah, I know. I love it. Every single time I come in, Bella just runs right up to the front and just wants to come and get pets by me. I know, sweetheart. I miss you too so, so much. And I don't want you guys to be like, okay, Brian, you're just showing the same animals you always show. You gotta remember, this is like a homecoming for me. I haven't seen these guys hardly at all for the last week or so. I popped in last night, obviously was here, but I was tired and busy. So now that I'm back, full of energy, rested up, of course I'm gonna come say hi to all my beautiful animals. Oh my gosh, Bella, you are amazing. And seeing those ones free ranging, all the others we saw down in Florida only maybe miss her more. But between me and you, Bella is the most special. Or at least I think she's the most special. Right, Bells? You know, with all the travel I do, the one thing that you still never really see are Centralian Blue Tongue Skinks or the Multifasciata. I mean, they are truly rare animals. So it's cool that we get a chance to see Potato every single day. And it really makes you realize how special he is, not only from the standpoint point that he's an amazing animal, but also the rarity of this one. I've always said that the Centralians seem to be the calmest and chillest of all of them, but I ain't gonna lie, those shingleback skinks at ties were pretty spectacular. And for those of you that just happened across this video and keep saying, what is this guy talking about, about all these animals that he's seen? It was, of course, my Florida trip. You can go back and look at my past videos and see all of these cool animals that we saw when we were traveling around Florida. And by the way, for those of you that did see all of our vlogs, let me know in the comments, what was your favorite animal? Animal. What was your favorite experience, your favorite place that we went to go see? I would really like to know because that way I have an idea when I do future trips what you guys are really interested. So go in the comments, let me know what you guys think. Over the next few days, I'm certainly going to be spending a tremendous amount of time with a lot of my animals, like my beautiful boy here, Casper. I love all of my animals and it really is nice to be back here and to be reacquainted with them once again. But I actually have to get out of here because I got to head up to Canada for a family Christmas party and like I had mentioned I'm going to leave a camera with the crew so they can document not only Eric as Santa Claus but what else is going on here at the Reptarium. I'm sure it'll be an amazing night and I am a little bit bummed out that I'm not going to be here to enjoy it but it's going to be a great time. I can't thank you guys enough for everyone that comes and visit and support. By the way follow us over on Instagram at the Reptarium if you haven't already because we're always posting really cool stuff on that page. So with that said I'm going to get out of here head over to this party but hey, there's plenty of more vlog coming and I'll take you guys along as I always do on all my adventures. So I'm gonna go ahead and let Casper go back here and get on the road to another country. We are coming up on the border and uh, Lori never lets me talk when I get here. So I have to just keep my mouth shut to get across the border because if I talk, we usually get pulled aside for like an hour. So uh, fingers crossed, are we gonna get across, Lori? Please just don't talk. We're gonna have to reptarian tonight, no Brian, so it's gonna be a heck of a party, am I right? We're gonna we're gonna let some people hold some animals. We got some first timers, some experienced people. Let's have a good time tonight. Oh, kind of taking over the vlog here for a second. We're having a great turnout tonight. A lot of a lot of people coming out and join some snakes and join some reptiles. That's what we're here for. That's what we're all about. See what's going on. We got some different animals out and stuff. Oh, nice. You want to tell us about your ball python there? It's going up my sleeve. It's actually her. Oh, it's yours, huh? Is that your first snake? Awesome. Well, thanks for bringing it out. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, we do. What, what are you holding here? You got a little doom rolls boa, it looks like, huh? He likes to become a belt, I think. Yeah, heck yeah, he does. And there's some here. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's itching to come out. Maybe we'll have to get him out in a little, a little bit. Who knows? Hey, what's up, buddy? What's your name? 
Dominic, what are you holding there? Oh, looks like you got the rhino wrap. Let me get around here. Oh yeah, that is awesome, man. Well, we made it into Canada, but unfortunately we did get pulled over thanks to Lori. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not oh, true. Okay, well, it was because of me, but yeah, we were, <laughs> we were there for, it was like a half an hour. Everyone was really good. Customs in Canada is always really friendly. We're now in Canada and we're off to the family Christmas party. For those of you that don't know, Canada's legal drinking age is 19. Yep. Noah's 19, so Noah we, may or may not have. We made our first purchase. This is one of them. This, this, we got some other special stuff. This was just for the appetizer, you know? Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Noah's gonna have a good day. <laughs> Who wants a snake? I'm gonna try. It's all the way in the North Pole. It's what cold. What about the spiders, Let's see what Mom? I can do. Yeah. Here, hop on in your boat. Yep. All right. Oh, 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 tell Santa what you want for Christmas. Uh, why don't you tell Santa what you want for Christmas? Oh, a trampoline, all right. So apparently there's a wine tasting at this party, uh, so Lori's gonna have a good time. Lori, are you excited about this wine tasting? Of course I'm excited about this wine tasting. <laughs> Merry Christmas. The family party is going good, and I'm wondering how Eric is doing at Santa Claus over at the Reptarium. Oh, oh, oh. Santa Claus is in town. Let's go around to the Riptarium and see what these little boys and girls want for Christmas. Here's a couple of nice fellows here. Hello. Hello. What, what would you like for Christmas this year? Oh, I would like for Vida. Yeah, I, yeah, that is a good. The North Pole is cold. We'll see what we can do. What about you, sir? What would you like for Christmas? I have an uh, aquarium. Oh, there you go. Maybe a water snake. Yeah, yeah. Hey, another good choice. We've got lots of uh, Christmas joy around here at the Reptarium. What about you, sir? What would you like for Christmas? I want a bunch of animals. There you go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We're spreading the animal joy here at the Reptarium. Her brother Noah School I literally don't even know what's happening. This is a family Christmas party. What is happening with your family? This is my family. Who started this? So we are wrapping up here at the family Christmas here in Canada and we are going to be heading home. Definitely some crazy stuff going down. It was a really, really fun night and I'm not even sure exactly what I'm going to share with you guys. So you may have seen some crazy stuff or I may have decided it was a really bad idea to share it with you. I'm not sure. Regardless, we're going to wrap it up and head on home. Okay guys, so we're wrapping it up here tonight at the Reptarium. Santa Claus was here. We had a bunch of people come in, a lot of people holding snakes, holding lizards. We had a really good time. I think we're gonna wrap it up here and uh, we'll see you guys next time. And we made it back across the border, fortunately with no issues and we are back home. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. It was a really fun time and I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. Your support truly means the world to me. And as I always say, I love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before I get out of here? Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video. Make a comment down below. Tell Tell me something amazing about yourselves. Be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.